Hello guys, welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. In this video, we're going to see 4-2-3-1 custom tactics. Defensive style is pressure on heavy touch. Pressure on heavy touch is very useful when you lose the ball or if you are facing the possession based opponents. You can use balanced play style if you are struggle to control the plays. But I will definitely recommend to use pressure on heavy touch. With 50, the defenders occupies the pitch at the back so perfectly so we use 50 width. Depth 70, we are using eye line to use offside traps and win the ball quickly and high line like this helps you to attack even more effectively in the game. Will the play long ball? Long ball helps your players to go behind the defenders and if you are good at play lock mechanic then this long ball might help you very much. Chance creation forward runs. Forward runs keeps your players in the attacking mindset. If you are struggle to move your attackers up front by manually, then forward runs definitely helps you to do the job. With 45, it is very congested and close with. It helps your players to stay close and it will definitely help you to attack even more. Place in the box 6. It is perfectly balanced because we are using long ball and forward runs. 70 width, it is already very very attacking. If you are giving more players in the box other than 6, then it would become very very difficult for you to defend. And corners and free kicks, one for each. Why? Because we don't want to get countered after we lose the ball in the corners or free kicks. Okay, let's see instructions. First striker, get in behind only. He is the lone striker, you have to do a lot of job up front so getting behind is the best option for the lone strikers come back and defense and get into the box for both left mid and right mid so they can come very deep to collect the ball and motoring towards the goal you can put balanced on defensive support to stay middle of the pitch but come back and defense is the way to go for me and can get into the box for cross only so we can support our striker by giving uh, get into the box for cross so we can uh, put him up front to help our lone striker first midfielder stay back while attacking and cover center we always use one centimeter to stay back to help the defend and pivot also make some crazy run towards the box a second midfielder everything is balanced apart from deep lying playmaker which is very very different but i'm very very surprised after using this it's so good to use and these deep lying playmakers gives the players more independent role to do whatever they want in the pitch and the right back stay back while attacking and the left back overlap and conservative interceptions you can use overlap either left back or right back, it's your preference. I use overlap at the left hand side which is very comfortable for me. And both the centre backs are balanced and keeper as well. This formation is very very solid in every other areas like attacking wise, midfield wise and defending wise. This is one of the standard formations in FIFA and also consistent formation to use. This formation works extraordinarily well but the only area this formation is lacking is attacking. You have a lone striker which makes difficult to convert one goal into two goals due to the lone striker. So how to rectify this situation? Try to use a D-pad tactics, press the up arrow and down arrow to add another striker up front to score more goals. That's it for today guys. Hope you like this video. If you want to see more custom tactics videos like this, then drop a like and subscribe our channel. Or if you want any specific custom tactics, let me know in the comment box. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from the elite division. Vieira plays alongside Bruno Guimaraes in central midfield and the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. He's got to score! And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see, the ideal way to begin underway once more let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game Sanchez must be and a goal the equaliser 
superb entertainment. Here's Renato Sanchez. A wonderful intervention. Might go ahead and foiled only by the crossbar. Could be. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Cross. Sanchez. And now with Havertz. Will it be? Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Mbappe. Kane. Kane! And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation. And they have the momentum now. Federico Valverde. And this could pose problems for the defenders. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. It's a splendid run by Mbappe. Chance here. Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. This has been the game for you. Getting the better of his opponents. Can't miss, surely. Well, the post got in the way. Too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. Havertz. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Alexis Sanchez might mean business. He's going to miss that guilt-edged opportunity. Well, sometimes in these 1v1 scenarios, you have too much time to think about it. He should do better for me, though. Kylian Mbappe. Okay. And forward they go again. Can they win this? as you can see they finished this really easily they don't give the keeper a chance do they that's a good goal and I must say I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4 he's got to get it away under pressure oh no not a moment the keeper will want to revisit well he's got to pick himself up now well, that own goal has put the referee blows for full time. It ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here.